I know a girl that sees the wonders of nature. She loves its beautiful colors and soft sweet smells. She loves its beautiful creatures, great and small. When she was born, I was asked to be her godmother. And for her birthday, I want to make her a nice princess dress. I started with asking my godchild which dress she would like to have. I gave her a few examples and she grew fond of the dress of Disney Princess Belle. But she asked to make some adjustments. She wanted it to have puff sleeves and a soft tulle skirt. Next, I let her choose the fabric colors. For this dress I'm using stiff tulle for a structural underskirt. On top of that will come a layer of soft tulle to make the dress nice and fluffy. For the underskirt, a shorter overskirt and puff sleeves, I bought a soft polyester satin. And finally, for the bodice, I bought a stretch cotton, but I ended up not using it and working with a store-bought t-shirt instead in order to save some time. Before actually cutting in the fabric, I colored the soft tulle so it would match with the rest of the fabrics. Nylon is easy to dye. It soaks up color pretty well. I just followed the instructions on the packaging. Kinda. The yellow turned out very cold and bright, while I preferred the softer warmer yellow, so I gave it a second short bath in black tea to adjust the color a bit. Then it was time to plan and calculate how I'd make the dress. I would make the dress in two parts, a bodice and a skirt, so it can be worn however needed and it's more forgiving to the speed that kids grow in. For the bodice I worked with a store-bought t-shirt, where I plan to attach puff sleeves to. The soft tulle for the overskirt would be cut in two rectangles. On top of that would come a smaller circle skirt, and the structural underskirt would consist of three-thirds of a circle skirt. First, I made a pattern for the structural underskirt. I attached all six pieces to each other with my sewing machine. The fabric was not very stretchy, so I didn't need to put special settings. Since I used double the waist length in the pattern calculations, this skirt needed to be gathered at the top, which I did by hand. The rectangles of the soft tulle were very stretchy, so I decided to gather them by hand with a simple running stitch. For the final underskirt, I used a pattern again from the structural underskirt, but this time just two thirds.
Because my godchild is rather sensitive to seams touching her skin, I decided to make a fresh seam. These are the softest to the touch, and not very ticklish. If you wonder how such seams are made, you can find many in-depth tutorials on YouTube. finished off the bottom of the skirt with a rolled hem. Then I attached the bottom underskirt to the structural underskirt and sewed them together on the machine. Next, I attach the soft tool. Now that all the longer skirts were cut out, I adapted the pattern that I used until it was fit to cut a shorter circle skirt. quickly used a zigzag stitch on the waist to stop it from fraying. And then I realized that since the fabric is 100% polyester, I could use a little flame to finish off the edges. This gave a clean look to this fabric. When you use a fire in your project, always make sure to have anything by your side to put a fire out in case it catches onto something else. Then, with the leftover fabric, I made a waistband. I left enough room inside to run an elastic through. In all my calculations for the waist, I added an extra 10 cm, so that there will be room to grow in this dress. In the beginning, it can be worn with an elastic. Later, when a bigger waistline is needed, the elastic can be removed, and the zipper can make sure that my godchild can put the skirt on and off. I attached the waistband with a zigzag stitch to make it extra sturdy. Then I gathered up the overskirt on five different spots to make it look like a bell skirt. At night I find some beautiful insects in our common hallway. They probably got lost and after quickly filling them, I put them outside in the bush. The t-shirt that I would use as a base for the bodice was white, so I first dyed it yellow to match the rest of the dress. For the sleeve of the dress, I worked with a regular sleeve pattern that I could find on the internet. I adapted this pattern until it was fit to become a puffy sleeve. This means that the sleeve needed extra length and width in order to be gathered on the top and the bottom. 
Here you can see how white it made the final pattern. I also finish these edges off with a flame to stop it from fraying. Then I gathered the fabric so it would fit around the sleeve on the t-shirt. I turned it inside out and stitched it to the t-shirt on the shoulder seam. And then I turned it right side out again. After that I gathered the sleeve on the bottom of the t-shirt sleeve and attached it with a zigzag stitch in order to keep the stretch. Next I made some bows out of ribbon and attached it to the dress with a pearl on top. And there you go, the dress is finished. My godchild was very happy to be wearing her new princess dress. Thank you all for watching and I wish you a lovely day.